Happy Saturday, everybody. Joe for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com, coming at you with 2019 Panini Contenders Draft Picks Football 2 Box, uh, random pack break number 12. These are the final two boxes of that particular case that we popped open. Big thanks to these folks right here for getting into it. Here are the pack numbers right here. So we're going to open up the boxes first, and then we will number the packs, then randomize your names, randomize the packs, put you guys together, and see who gets what. Maybe this guy. Um, so let's hear it, folks. Who, who's your favorite team, and uh, how do you think? How do you feel about their their draft? I'm a Raiders fan. I think it worked out okay. I think I think some of the uh, some of the so-called experts out there and critics maybe thought that Cleland Farrell maybe was a bit of a reach at that spot. Maybe he was, but hey, if that's the guy that the Raiders want, then I don't know. They did more. They probably did more research than me. So, but all in all, after all seven rounds, I think I think they did okay. The Raiders have a lot of pieces to a lot of holes to fill. So this one draft is not going to fix everything, but. So far, so good. Hope springs eternal. So we'll see. They got that Clemson wide receiver. Could probably play the slot. Hunter Renfro I thought was interesting. Short of the defense. Got that Alabama running back. Who was originally from Tulsa. I think is pretty cool. At least a good story behind him too. So we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Let's go back to random.org. Let's randomize each list. Four and a two. Six times. Your names first. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Trevor down to Nicholas. Four and a two. Six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We got eight down to six. <laughs> All right, Trevor, you got eight, 11, 10, three, 12, one, and two. Michael, you have four and nine. Lou, you have five. Colton with seven. And Nicholas Hines, you got six. Trevor, uh, pack two is your last spot mojo. We'll be doing these alphabetically. Let's order these by your first names. So Colton, you'll be going first. You can thank your parents. Call your call your mom or dad, and then be like, "Hey guys, thanks. I was able to go first in this random pack break from JaspiesCaseBreaks.com because because of the name you gave me." All right, good luck. And you're gonna get. David Long Jr. 7 out of 10. Nice low number on that one. This is a linebacker from West Virginia coming your way. I actually need to print out these labels too. Nice. Good start. These things out. Give me a second here. And Lou, you're coming up next with pack five. Michael Braun, you're on deck. Trevor's a Saints guy. I haven't checked out their draft picks yet. I don't, I don't remember how the how the Saints did. It's tough with the uh, it's tough with the good teams, right? Because they draft so late, and you're like, well, I don't really don't know who these who these guys are. Four 
Frankie is a Cowboys guy, and he says, we'll see. He was hoping for a tight end. No tight end, but overall it was an okay day. You got Jason Witten. Jason Witten, who found the fountain of youth. Realize he wasn't he wasn't Tony Romo in the uh, in the booth. All right, there's Lou with pack five. Oh, Frankie's actually Frankie B's actually Michael Braun, by the way. So pack five for Lou, which is over here. And you got Frank Gore? Wow, look at that. 11 out of 23 cracked ice Frank Gore. That's pretty, I wasn't expecting these players here, these kind of players, these names. Very nice. Cracked ice Frank Gore for Lou. Yeah, I thought it was going to be all college guys, but then they, they threw in a Frank Gore here. One and done, Lou. That's all. All it takes is one. All right. Michael, you're next. You got pack four and nine. There's four and nine. <laughs> Trevor's like, well, in that case, how about a Barry Sanders? I don't know if, well, I don't know. We should, we should probably check the checklist, huh? There's O'Shane Zimes. There you go. It looks like another parallel here. You have Emmett Smith. Hey, that's pretty cool. Two one out of ninety nine bowl ticket. Benny Snell Jr. on card autograph. All right, there you go, Michael. Michael Cowboys fan getting that extra numbered. Parallel. All right, Nicholas, you got one pack. You're up next, and then Trevor. You have the rest. But first things first, pack six. And then we 
have the tight end, Caleb Wilson, who I think is Mr. Irrelevant, right? 61 out of 99. The very, very, very last pick in the draft. A compensatory pick to the Cardinals, I think. Could be some value there, too. He is, right? So he is Mr. Relevant, right? Okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought I saw earlier today. There you go. There's some value there. All right. So Trevor, you have the rest. 8 and 11. Just making sure I didn't screw anything up. 8, 11, 10. 3, 12, 1. 3, 12, 1. And 2. All right. Good luck, man. Brian O saying he saw him get drafted and then the Philip Lindsay story and then he was cutting onions in the living room. A little little dust in the living room. A bit of dust got in, got in your eye. Trevor, good luck. All right, um, so I think we we have two cases of this left for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I think we're saving one for a mixer next week, so keep an eye out for that on jazbeescasebreaks.com. The uh, next two boxes I think Nick already posted, and that is going to be um, from a fresh case. So I think the uh, the Josh Jacobs story, the new Raiders running back, that gets me. There's a Trace McSorley. Where did Trace McSorley end up going? Three out of ten on that one. Josh Jacobs, who's originally from Tulsa, he he was the running back at Alabama. Um, but you know, like I I was fortunate enough to 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 grow up, you know, pretty middle class, you know, so. So to hear stories of him like living, living out of like you know short-term hotels and out of his dad's suburban and stuff like that, you know. So I always think about it, like that's there's Foster Moreau, oh Ravens for Trace, nice cracked ice. Look at that. So an out of ten, and now a cracked ice. Nineteen out of twenty-three. So stories like that, it's just like man. It'd be easy to be like, man, life just sucks, you know, but to get to a level where where you get to a big college program, you know, and then uh they get drafted, like late first round, it's kind of amazing. Then we got Jerry Tillery. Once again, uh, I think I've started to know. I, I only noticed this recently, <laughs> 12 breaks in, that uh, I think Panini got that Notre Dame license. <laughs> so you can start seeing their, uh, their school nicknames and their logos too. And bowl ticket, Sony Michelle to 99. And we have Travion Williams. 
on card autograph. And I always try to guess by the uh, the color right here too. And then you see the the position, wide receiver. It's Antoine Wesley. He got drafted, right? I'm pretty sure he did. Thought I saw his name. All right, Trevor, a couple more to go. Another wide receiver. It's Keyshawn Johnson. No, not that Keyshawn. Different Keyshawn. And we've got Stanley Morgan Jr., the accountant. If Ben Jarvis Green Ellis is, is your law firm, then Stanley Morgan Jr. definitely has to be your investment group, right? That's your financial planner right there. All right, there's Travion Williams. There's this. That's pretty cool. Connections. A.J. Brown, D.K. Metcalf to 10, 6 out of 10. Not too shabby at all. I think you got some nice stuff out of here. No Kyler Murray or anything like that, but some solid stuff for your packs, Trevor. And there you go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.